I'm going to show how to use or input some residential assemblies here. Now, in the real world of estimating, you would put the actual quantity of assemblies in the quantity box here. I'm just going to input a quantity of one and explain how it works. So let's say I want to add a receptacle, a 20 amp duplex receptacle. This is an assembly I'm adding to the residential estimate. I put in a quantity of one in the quantity box. I click the add button. When I click add, the materials populate over to the right here. Now I'm going to unsquench this so we can see it. I'll click save to get a better view of it here. Now, again, we added one of these residential assemblies here, a one gang 20 amp receptacle. Okay, so at the top it lists the name of the assembly here, and the components in that assembly are down below, lines 2 through line 8. Notice how this assembly contains a one gang plastic box, one 20 amp receptacle, a plate, Notice how the program added six feet of Romex. Now, this is assumed to be used in a kitchen environment where the, the outlets are close together and you only need six feet of 12-2 of, uh, to go from one outlet to the next. Notice how the program added quarter inch, or inch and a quarter, I should say, staples. It added three staples, a little bit of labor for drilling the holes, and three wire nuts, okay? So that's how the assemblies work. Now, if I would have put in five of these, of course, it would have put in five boxes, five receptacles, five plates, etc. Let me just go demonstrate the use of another assembly. Let me scroll down here. I'll just uh, give you a look at them here. There's one gang 20 amp, two gang 20 amp. Here's your 20 amp weatherproof GFI. Okay. Here's your switches down at the bottom. Let's, let's uh, show an example of a switch assembly here. So I'll put one of these switch assemblies in here, put in a quantity of one. I'll scroll back up and click Add. Again, same thing. It populates the materials to the right. I'm just going to save it so we have a better view. I'll scroll over here. Notice how line 10 here shows the description of the assembly, and the components 11 are on lines 11 through 16. So this switch assembly includes a plastic nailer box, one gang nailer box, I should say, a 15 amp switch, a plate, Look, it includes 30 feet of 14-2 Romex, some staples, and a little labor for drilling the holes. Okay, so that's how the assemblies work. Now, noodle through on these assemblies and just try them out. There's different categories. There's lighting assemblies here. We'll click on this. It displays your, your uh, halo recessed light fixtures, some smoke detector there, exhaust fan. Click down here's your low voltage and doorbell. Click on that, you'll see it includes a uh, coax outlet, a uh, teledata outlet, and chimes here, okay? And then panels and home runs, I'll click on this one. Just uh, again, like a laundry list, just go through here and put them in. Let me input a 14-2 home run here. This is a standard home run. I'll click on in the, uh, I should say, I'll click in the quantity box, I'll put in a quantity one. I'm going to click back up here, or scroll back up. Okay, now uh, give me a second here. I'll input, I'll add that to the page to the right. I'll unsquench it here and save it. Again, what I input here, as so I'll scroll back down, was a 50 foot home run of 14.2. Notice how it includes 50 feet of 14.2 Romex, one TNB connector, a connector for the panel. It included a circuit breaker, a little labor for drilling holes, and some staples. Okay. So that's how the residential assemblies work.